Master Diviner gets back, we might be in for tough times. It's making me a little nervous. Are you ready? It's getting late. Where to now? I'd rather go into battle than wait around in realm keeping commission meetings. Oh, that's right. It, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My realm keeping commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, 
in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara Struck have taken on a horrifying appearance, as if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The General has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person, and since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? I... I read the letter. I'll be honest with you, I've got no idea how to handle this problem. It's beyond the Realm Keeping Commission's jurisdiction. I contacted the Seat of Divine Foresight, which is overseen by the General. Allow me to introduce Madame Ching Zhu, General Jing Yuan's Chief Counselor. I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you. Mm. I read the letter you obtained from the Mara Struck. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Mara Struck. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. That's right. Since the Alliance was first established, all medical practices aboard the Sienjo adhere to strict standards that prohibit long life or mutant modifications under the guise of curing. I went through all our files to find information on the experiment in question and found nothing. I started thinking about how the Alchemy Commission's delve was sealed off. There must be an unspeakable secret locked away there. The author of this letter was likely the Mara Struck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The Seat of Divine Foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the Seat of Divine Foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Excellent. Your work will not be in vain. The Seat of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you.
Household registration always takes forever. <laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Extractor cleaned to your star skip serviced? <laughs> Look no further. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Do you not believe in the pursuit of eternal life? Perhaps it's because you've already given up on that aspiration. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Sienjo doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as Disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a Disciple. But to become a Disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish Archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. Ha! Only those led astray by followers of the Devilish Archer could despise Merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. 
Every species yearns for the favor and curing of merciful Medicus, regardless of whether they have heard of the abundance or not. Foxians yearn to cure themselves of their 300-year lifespan. The Vidyatera yearn to cure themselves of the pain of reincarnation and lack of progeny. As for Sienjo natives, they long to cure themselves of the torture of becoming Mara-struck. Of course, we know that this torture is rather a kind of blessed evolution. To return to your question, Sanctus Medicus can cure the aging that short-life species face, along with disease and death. Sanctus Medicus can do for you what they did for the Sienjo natives. What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Excessive! The old rules dictated that the text be copied 50,000 times. I myself undertook such a feat. Nowadays, the master takes greater pity on the common people. Hence, the number has been reduced to a mere 500. Stop writing! Get over here! Stop writing! You want to fall under their spell? I'll finish it for you. Go keep a lookout! Alright, finally. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest! You're here undercover, right? So am I! You've got to believe me! I'm a Cloud Knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison! That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here! To spy on him! They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in Law and Order. I wanted them to know I was a Cloud Knight. Always know your enemy. Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the Seat of Divine Foresight.
take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus' salvation to permeate your being. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The Disciple's initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a Disciple. There's nothing that can be done. I didn't write the rules. If you are unwilling to complete the initiation process, then we will have to ask that you keep our secrets hidden. Permanently. Whoa, 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 you're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine. Fine. But at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me? <laughs> Good. I knew I could trust you. My life is in your hands. So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Then... Let's begin. Well then, take this! <laughs> Lance at the ready. Naughty children, don't favor the vigor of life. Fights are like gambling, you have to choose. <laughs> You're in bad shape. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. 
Purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before? A long-time associate, eh? You're well-connected, I see. Hmm... This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting Sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the Devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a Disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. <laughs> With your skills? You've got a better chance than most. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. Green Hibiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gifts? There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Gray Peony? Ugh, this must be from Green Hibiscus. Disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Psycrane stands. Hmm. <laughs> 
Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need. What's written on this package? Seat of Divine Foresight Urgent? This is it. The mail the Disciples want to intercept. Hmm. Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. Let's see if I can crack the code. internal order from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the Disciples are aware of a seat of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. No wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept this. I'll use my phone to make a copy, and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Of Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. No need for modesty. I've studied martial arts for years. I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. 
They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Do you have any questions? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. The head of each area reports directly to the Master. I know nothing about what goes on elsewhere. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. That's sensitive information. I know who they are, but for their security, I can't reveal their identities. It's not that I doubt your loyalty, Grey Peony. It's like I said, security. The boss? You mean the master? You'll meet them, but for now there's no rush. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties, as you have been. With your strength, you'll have an audience with the Master in no time. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moons, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I... I... I couldn't have known, sir. I... I witnessed this person slay a Cloud Knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish Archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight, devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Try that again! Merciful Medicus! Oh, great. Another walk in the park. Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of it. Wait for the tiles before you start counting. <laughs> Tread carefully.
Do you know how to fix a star skin? Do you have any questions? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moon, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I, I... I couldn't have known, sir. I... I witnessed this person slay a Cloud Knight b before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish Archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. You can't run! Oh. Merciful Medicus! Move carefully. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Lance at the ready. Not a scratch. Try that again! It's too late to repent. Never stop thinking. My turn. Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. You have the worst luck running into me. I'm on guard. Fracture! Try that again! Not a scratch. You can't run! Mortality! Oh, mercy! 
mercy of Sanctus Medicus. Grant me a body impervious to steel, the courage of a thousand armies, a strength that 10,000 foes cannot suppress. You think you're a match for me, devil? Your death is inevitable. Surrender, and I'll make it quick. This sanctuary is but a vision. Never stop thinking. My turn. to repent. S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. your knowledge. Fail! Get out! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Clemency? Never heard of it. I'm asking the questions. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! So Mav Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the Seat of Divine Foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. What is your purpose for entering the Seed of Divine Foresight?
I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. So? What happened? Did everything go as planned? Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. Ugh. I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersene away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the Seed of Divine Foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The current state. I'm afraid we know next to nothing. We dispatched agents, but they were only able to linger on the edges of the organization. Your operation is the furthest anyone's managed to infiltrate. The Seed of Divine Foresight is still striving to answer one question. Is this but the resurgent shadow of an organization silenced a thousand years ago? Or have they been lurking in the darkness all along? Whatever the case, this sudden re-emergence hints at a hidden conspiracy. It's troubled me deeply over recent few months. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. Not at all. The Disciple's secret letter makes it sound as if we infiltrated their ranks in great numbers. The reality is that only a handful of agents have successfully slipped into the organization. And the majority of them lacked the strength you had to make it back unscathed after their identity was exposed. They didn't have the wisdom and good fortune to gain the organization's trust quickly. An agent can't actually consume those pellets of the Disciples. Doing so would mean the end of their life as they knew it. The point is, there hasn't been anyone like you who managed to delve into the group's core and obtain so much first-hand information. Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation is a manuscript transcribed from a sacred text. I don't know where the Disciples obtained it. It likely consists of fragments of banned works from the Befall era. As I see it, there isn't anything particularly alarming about the text. It recalls the acts of the Plague's author's warped creatures from an equally warped perspective. The scripture doesn't have the power to lead people astray. They do that to themselves. But it does feed lies and false hope. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. This will allow the Seed of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine Foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Can I help you?
The seed of divine foresight? Let me see the prescription. Oh, heavens above. It's a horrifying prescription, and I can't make any sense of it. Go and ask Lady Don Shu. She's our chief alchemist. She may be sightless, but she's more qualified than all of us. She's no stranger to helping others, either. Always prescribing medicine to those in need, and free of charge. She'll certainly be willing to help the seed of divine foresight. You can find her at Sinwood Pavilion. <laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission. Tree remained dead for thousands of years. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadar, a healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Thank you. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of... ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyadara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you.
When the Master Diviner gets back, we might be in for tough times. It's making me a little nervous. Are you ready? It's getting late. Where to now? Ah, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Many who undertake the far-reaching journey to the Xianzhou are weighed down by a heavy heart and exhaustion. But your steps are bold and steady. A stride worthy of a nameless. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. The conclusion... Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. 
I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. What is your purpose for entering the Seed of Divine Foresight? You're back. Anything you wanted to share? Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu? W wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission delve. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Those were rewards from the Seed of Divine Foresight. These are gifts from me, personally. You've done so much for the Lafu, for the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seed of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question, but there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Thank you. The patient in question is a little girl. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her.
tree remained dead for thousands of Do you know how to fix a star sign? Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Does she come here to treat other sightless people? Aw, little Miss Lady can't see ahead. Can't see right, can't see left. Heads to the east, ends up west. <laughs> She's stuck. <laughs> she can't get down. Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business. What's this got to do with you? You were family or something? Because you don't look like it. Hmm. You're just trying to be a hero. You sure you want to mess with the La Fu Trio? <laughs> what a doofus! Who hasn't heard of the La Fu Trio? The La Fu Trio is made up of two, uh, th three super awesome kids that everyone's afraid of. Even the Realm Keeping Commission! Eh, go ahead. You think we're scared of you? They'll just put us in detention. We'll be free again in no time. Uh, let's leave it, boss. Detention's detention, but if your dad finds out, you'll get yelled at and start crying again. Hey! Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> You're right. We shouldn't stoop to this short lifer's level. Did you hear that? The boss is letting you off the hook. So scram! Yeah! The boss doesn't want to stoop to your level. Now buzz off! Before he yells at you and makes you cry! You idiot! Enough about yelling and crying! Thank you for helping me, mister. I'm okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. They always laugh at me for being blind. They like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Oh, Don Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on Olafu recently. Don Shu must be very busy. Thank you, mister. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? Well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Don Shu. Was she? Did you deliver the medicine? <sighs> she reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark, face obstacles I couldn't predict, as well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. 
If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps, to pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? I want to meet the little girl. Can you lead me to her? I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health, but sometimes the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. That tree remained dead for thousands of years. Hey, uh, there's something I need to tell you. Happening. Is the girl in trouble? <laughs> Help! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. Clemency? Never heard of it. Do you have answers? Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. SAS. Keeping knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. <laughs> Fail. Get out. Okay now, shall you? <laughs> Thank you, big brother. Thank you, Anshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. He is here. But I... When I think about all the trouble I've caused you to... I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. 
Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. Because in the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. So, if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is... the reality. Walking alone in the darkness, fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle, unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything, is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long-life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. Yes, by trying my best to change her personal circumstances. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, aren't you? <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again. For all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is... No amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. For long-life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short-life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate, and I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish, forever etched into my mind. For long-life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> What a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so-called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met, for now. Oh, I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. 
See you soon, friend. The Ambrosial Arbor. Cultured people love. novel about the Ten Lords Commission? said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. This is a diary I kept. It records the many attempts I made to overcome my incompletions. No need to apologize. Feel free to read it. If you're interested in the incomplete ones, you can take it. If it can deepen your understanding of our trials and tribulations, it will have fulfilled its purpose. Ah, there you are, friend. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet, and I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so... Shall we say goodbye for now? Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you in the true sense of the word. Hmm. Tastes a bit strange, but no adverse reactions so far. Uh, wait a minute. Ugh. My head... What's happening? 
something's wrong. I'm burning up. It feels like I can't breathe. <sighs> Seems to be calming down a bit, but still uncomfortable. This doesn't seem right. I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Would you like me to relay your message? Ugh. There goes my head again. Is Don Shu sure this broom dew is safe for consumption? What's happening? Isn't this the seat of divine foresight? Why are there so many Mara struck here? No, I can't let them get near me. You're annoying! Merciful Medicus! Move carefully. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Lance at the ready. to repent. Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. Stay right there while I give you a present. I'm on guard. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The time is now. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Lance at the red lance of blaze. Flaming lance. Forward.
Clemency? Never heard of it. Never stop thinking. Fail. Count. My turn. Essayus Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. That's <laughs> great. I'm on guard. You can't run! I don't want to be alone. Uh, what happened to you? Careful! Don't hurt him! Hey! Wake up! Are you okay? Thank the stars! You're finally awake. I thought we might lose you. I was so worried. You came into the seat of divine foresight and started brandishing your weapon. It looked like you'd lost control. As if you'd been stricken with Mara. There has to be something awry. Tell me what happened to you before arriving at the seat of divine foresight. From what you're saying, it seems like the gift she gave to you must be related to the Disciple's prescription we examined earlier. But the healer who examined you just now said your body doesn't seem to have been affected. <sighs> How strange. Could Don Shu be playing a trick on you? Or is her medicine somehow not working as planned? <sighs> My advice is to come back later for another examination. It's a Disciples of Sanctus Medicus prescription, after all. Who knows what healing effects it may have. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Take this Deeting with you. It might just help you find this... friend. Don Shu isn't here. Where could she be? I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the D Ting that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. Time to come out, little D Ting. I need you to help me find Donshu. With a group of disciples? I guess that tells me all I need to know. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. 
stand down. He's a friend. Many of our brethren have fallen by his hands. Yes, I am aware. But... I said he's my friend. Leave us. Yes, Master. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. The head? What a crude way of putting it. I am master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, scion of Merciful Medicus, and I shall lead the entire Sienjo Alliance onto the path of abundance. Did you ingest the Broomdew Concentrate pellet I gave you? Did you feel the shift? So many elixir seekers arrive on the Sienjo in the hope of obtaining the formula to immortality. But none have succeeded. Their aspirations are well founded. The Sienjo does indeed harbor the secret to becoming immortal. I admire you, so I thought I'd give you the chance to obtain it. Upon ingesting the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet, you will feel the limitless freedom of the form bestowed upon you by Merciful Medicus. And yet, you don't sound any different. Your breaths are not prolonged, and your presence doesn't feel like it's been altered in any way. Why is that? Is your constitution somehow different from the average person? Looks like you have yet to forgive me. I understand. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the law Fu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars, while the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy? Do you really think that is the case? You don't understand Merciful Medicus, nor the devilish Archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I do not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the law, Fu. To leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, perhaps we could have been good friends. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell, Nameless. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's test your knowledge. Fail! Get out! I told you I could fight. I'm on guard. To the finish! Step aside. I have no times now. Never stop thinking. Zero points. Next. Try that again. Merciful. 
Leviticus. Let's test your knowledge. S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Fail. Get out. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Zero points. Next. Lance of Blaze. Flaming Lance. Forward! I'm asking the questions. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Lance at the ready. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Do you have answers? Never stop thinking. I told you I could fight. <laughs> Let's test your knowledge. <sighs> I'd better report my findings to Qingzu at the seat of divine foresight. It's getting late. Where to now? Would you like me to relay your message? How did it go? Did you manage to locate Don Shu? So you weren't able to apprehend her. I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. I won't take up any more of your time. Please, take good care of yourself. If you run into Don Shu again, contact the nearest Cloud Knights. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You deserve it.
Master Divider, you're back. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the disciples is laid bare to me now. <laughs> 